Hi everyone, so today I'm back with a different type of video. I'm going to show you how I do my nails. I've been getting a lot of questions about my nails and how I do them, so I thought I'd show you. So my nails are an absolute mess at the moment. They're all chipped, the skin's all flaking, where it's been cold and my anxiety's really bad. So yeah, let's fix them. So I'm going to start off with removing the nail polish. This is just a Sally Hansen one. You can use any one that you have, obviously. And that's all the nail polish removed. I'm now going in with this Essence Cuticle Remover. It's just an oil that you pop on and it softens your cuticles. So then you can cut them and get rid of them all. So I'm just putting that on all my nails and then I wait a few minutes and then I'll start to push them back and then I'll use cuticle cutters to cut them. So here you can see I'm just using a cuticle like stick and just pushing them back. And then these are my cuticle cutters and I'm just going in and cutting any loose skin around the fingers as well and removing the cuticle. And then I'm just going in with a cotton pad to wipe off all the oil. So now I'm going in with these hand gloves that have a moisturiser inside. I've not used these before. These are what my gran gave me when I saw her last. But they smelt amazing as soon as I opened the packet. If I can find them, I will link them below. These also have a sticky tab on the wrist area so you can peel that back and stick the wrist tight so that the moisturiser doesn't come out, which I thought was really handy. I'm just going to leave these on for 15 minutes. And whilst they're on as well, I'm just going to massage my hands a bit just so that I work all the cream in and get rid of all that dry, horrible skin that I have at the moment. So 15 minutes is up and I'm just taking them off and as you can see, there was a lot of moisturiser in there. <laughs> but my hands felt amazing now and I'm just massaging all the excess in. I left that for another two minutes and then I just wiped all the excess off. So now I'm going to go in with my metal nail file and I'm just filing my nails down shorter. I like my real nails to be quite short under fake nails. And my nails are all cracked so now I'm going to get my fake nails. These are just some cheap ones that I got from eBay. They're full cover ones, so they go on the whole nail. They're also clear, which I love because then you can paint them any colour you want. I'm just measuring out all the nails. They come with so many. I'm just going to use this glue that I pick up in Superdrug. It's my favourite nail glue. It dries really quickly and I find that it makes the nails last so much longer than other glues that I've used. So I'm just popping the glue on and then I'll pop the nail on and I just hold it for a few seconds and push down just so that it can bond. And there is one done, so now I'm just gonna do all the rest. And there's all the nails on one hand. Obviously I'm gonna go in now and do the other hand too. So now I'm just filing down because they have rough edges sometimes, like tabs where they've been made. So I just file them down so the ends are all smooth. 
and now we get to paint them. So I looked for ages for a khaki nail varnish. It is so hard to find. I found this in Sally and it was in sale so it's quite a good bargain. So I'm going to be using this because I'm loving dark colours at the moment with obviously autumn being here and I love china glaze nail varnishes. I have quite a few of theirs, I find that they go on really nicely. Colour looks quite dark on my camera but it is true khaki colour. I love it, it's my favourite at the moment. So there's one hand done, obviously I'm going to go in and do the other, I'm not going to walk around with just one hand done. <laughs> So sometimes I do get polish on my skin, so I'm just going in with a nail brush and polish remover. Just going around the edges just to get rid of any paint that's gone over, just so they look really clean and sharp. So now I'm going in with this clear nail varnish. This is from Sinful, I believe. I like this one because it's really thick and really glossy and it does make your nail varnish last a lot longer without chipping. And there are my nails done. So this is just how I do my nails. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had loads of questions about it so I hope that it has answered any of them. And if you like these sorts of videos then I'll definitely do more in the future. Thank you for watching.